up, Hot Shotters? Welcome back, man. We are about to get back on the road. As I said, man, I'm actually getting a rental um, to go back to Wyoming. So for all of you all, just a quick reminder or I guess flashback. The truck went out, fuel pump uh, went out on the truck in Wyoming, had a load and everything. Uh, and also it was very snowy first time using uh, four by four so four wheel drive so um, whatever the case was it I, I toast my, my front differential was gone so um, had to get that replaced arm and a leg arm and a leg it, it cost me so much money man it bent me out of shape like I've never been bent in my life all type of emotions is just like crazy because this is my baby this is my livelihood but anyway um been out been down so it today is the 4th of february and the truck went down december 16th so that's how long i've been out of you know out off the road that means again bills coming in it gets crazy so man been a hell of a time hell of a time hell of a time but everything's repaired going to pick it up but as i told y'all my annual inspection is coming up so Again, y'all never told me where y'all get y'all uh, tires from. So I'm still having to order my 14 ply tires for my trailer. And really also the tires for the truck as well, man. It's not easy to find. Like I don't have a place in my mind that I can just go and say, I need this type of tire and I know that they're good tires. So I normally have to go online and just get them delivered to the house. Either way, that's the main reason why I'm not flying back. Anyway, man, we, we getting back on the road, going to pick up the truck. So. In the morning, um, got to pick up the rental. Top of the morning, then we're just going to get out of here. So come along with another ride. Let's hope we got a lot of good karma. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good karma. And we about to really run it up. Speaking of running it up, I really look at this as a silver lining. Uh, I kind of feel like being down this long helped me. Helped me rebalance. Kind of get the... What was I maybe doing wrong that I could be doing better? Or what what was I doing right that I want to continue to include? Uh, you know, fuel the way I manage my fuel and everything like that. I actually want to keep that up. I, I like the way I ran that. But I also, uh, I'm, I'm not going for the BS rates, you know, and, I, and I'm, of course, come on, let's be serious. We're not taking bad rates on purpose. But I, I can't admit that I've had to take rates just getting the hang of things. Like, I don't get who I got in here. Who do I have? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So although I'm not taking terrible rates or I wasn't taking terrible rates, I probably could have been more, a little bit more patient and just tried to stick it out like, hey, you just can't take this rate, blah, blah. But I'm like, man, I got to keep rolling. So, I mean, I feel like I've matured in my time being off. And so that's a silver lining for me. Like, I'm not going. I've, I mean... I've always knew my, my my rate per mile, you know, my operating rate per mile is what I basically need at the bare minimum to even put it on the road. It ain't worth it if it ain't this. I've always knew that, but I mean, I've really penciled it down like to the penny uh, and really inflated it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going. We, we getting every due dollar and cent that we deserve out here this time. So we recalibrated, man, we rebalanced again. Hopefully, good karma out here, and we're going to go get it. We got the espresso martini, white wine for the regular degola drinker. Don't want to try nothing new. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the real YouTuber, by the way, y'all. Like, y'all don't know, but Zanice Ashley on YouTube, she's like... A kind of a big deal and shit. My <laughs> fiance. What's up, how shout out? We at the airport picking up the rental. Top of the morning to you on a Saturday, man. Not looking forward to this drive, but we're gonna need to go get it. Time to get back to that grind, man. It ain't easy, but it's fair. It ain't easy, but it's on the road to Wyoming. So I ain't gonna do too much. I don't have all of my equipment in order to record safely. So uh, I'm basically just hopping on the road right now. I'm gonna throw like 10 hours in today. And then uh, 
sleep at a rest stop, truck stop, somewhere like that. And uh, basically just keep making my way to Wyoming, man. And we'll get there on Monday morning. What's up, Hot Shadows? We out here, man. We made it. We made it. So we about to check out the trailer. I'm looking at it. It's buried in snow. So I'm about to see the damage. I mean, it is buried. They got a snow blow, So, I mean, we should be able to get it out and everything. But yikes. Look at this. I got to check everything out. Everything, man. Just ice everywhere, bro. We're about to take the uh, rental back to um, Denver and just chill out for the rest of the day until the Greyhound, or oh, until uh, we drop off the rental in the morning and uh, get to the Greyhound around noon tomorrow, come back. Look, back to what I was talking about, the rates. When I was taking that first load, I had some people saying, well, I had one person saying, you, you're the reason why the industry is going down, blah, blah. Shorty, you got to realize I'm just starting out. I'm just getting here. I don't have experience. My family did not grow. I, I wasn't raised up learning about trucks. I'm doing this from scratch like you make a recipe. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely probably do things a little unorthodox, at least until I get my feet in my bearing. Coach me. Coach me for free. If you got, I told him. I'm like, if you ain't got nothing positive to say, if you ain't going to teach me the game, don't say nothing. Because it's like, well, why are you talking? You might have grew up on, you know, knowing about trucks. You might have been in this industry your whole life. Some people like me have been working 9 to 5 successfully, but we tired of having a boss. Tired of being mistreated by the 9 to 5 corporate America life. So we want to do something on our own. Set our, set our family up. Create generational wealth. Use us as a step ladder. Come on, bro. So don't come to me. I see, to be honest, man, me and my guys talk about it a lot. Uh, about my homeboy who be watching my YouTubes and, you know, we be chopping it up on Instagram. Some people do definitely be capping about these rates. Cap. The, the, the word of the day is cap. Y'all be capping. I mean, it's definitely out here. And I'm sure I could utilize and use the, the board, you know, low board better. But it... As well as it's, it's about having direct clients too. I gotta improve on that and try to reach out and create those connections. But it's about direct clients. But at the same time, sometimes you know the people be capping, man. Like they be lying about rates or how much they made in a week. Because a week to them might be like like I said, a week to me is seven to eight days. A week to some people is 10 days, 10 to 11 days. That's not a week. You you ain't make 7K or 8K in, in, in a week. You made that in 11 days, which is still good. But let's be honest. Now, don't be capping because you got to, you know, you misleading people with these wrong numbers. And I'm sure probably people who've been in the game, you know, way longer than me or longer than me, like probably be looking at some of my stuff like, oh, he capping, he lying. No, nah, I'm not. Because I'm going to keep it a thousand. Because to be honest, for some reason, like, some people just like, I don't know if they be hating, but they just don't be wanting you to get into the industry. Like, you know, I guess it's like, uh, I've had that feeling before a time or two. So I know how it feels when you like, I don't want them in here. But they're going to be in here. So we hustlers just like y'all trying to get it just like y'all. So stop hating, either give great advice, good advice, or just don't say none at all. But more importantly, stop capping on these rates or what y'all posting, especially hot shotters. Big trucks, I feel you. Hot shotters, stop capping, bro. What up, what up, what up, what up, hot shotters? We uh, just got to the Union Station, so dropped off the uh, car and um, Got the train from the airport down to Union Station, and we're going to be uh, boarding the uh, Greyhound in about two hours, so 
Uh, it's kind of cold. Kind of a little bit. But either way, uh, shit, I'm gonna chill out. Ain't gonna do too much and then everything, the truck is ready. Pick up the truck. Hopefully they have me unburied by the snow. But if not, I still gotta go get a truck wash. And then, um, then we'll see. Well, 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 I want to replace those tires. So I, um, I kind of want to, um, go to do that tomorrow. Cause I know they're not going to have me unburied or plowed out. I just know that. I don't even know why. I just don't feel like they're going to make it happen for me. This shit is not easy. We trying to fucking, ugh, I don't even want to curse, but the snow is too high. The snow is too high for us to, um, I'll tell you what, and this ice is lifting my truck up. So now we're about to try to lower it down with the jacket, extend the uh, pins, and then see if we can get some leverage off of that. Finally got it out, y'all. Talk about scared. Finally got it, y'all. Finally got it out, y'all. Oh my god. You talk about scared. Look at all this snow. Jesus. Jesus. Man. I didn't think this was gonna end. I thought I was gonna have to spend a lot of money. Cause this is ice. I mean they could. They couldn't even get it really. They tried, but they they couldn't they can't break that up. That's it's like 40 degrees here and at night. So during the day, of course, it melts the snow. Then during the night it gets negative temperatures or below freezing at least. And uh it freezes it up as ice. So I just hooked up. I'm gonna get my tires over there and then um uh, we're gonna take it for a quick little spin just to make sure that things working correctly. It's been too long since y'all seen me up here. Whew. We finally got it out. It was hell to pay. Not hell to pay, but like it was hard. We had to uh, end up using some heavy duty jacks, putting those under there, bringing it down. We was able to pull the leg out a little bit more to another notch. And then uh, we was able to get high enough that we needed to. So got everything man um i just checked out the the hub oil everything seems pretty decent you know might need to add a little bit more there but no leaks no nothing like that so everything looks pretty good man i'm about to um i literally just been doing laps around just to you know test test out the truck test out the trailer making sure everything is up to par and good everything looks good to me god please just look out for me please we're trying to get this money man the right way so anyway man appreciate y'all coming along with this crazy ride of mine well let's What's go up, shotters? we out here man so uh today all we have to do uh is wash the truck wash the hell out of the truck the truck's filthy but we also got a a tire in there it's a 10 ply i don't like to ride on 10 plies so we're about to change that out with a 14 ply that I brought back, along with, as you can see, I was running out. So along with, this is also another 10 ply. This is the one that came with the trailer. About to uh, change this out for a brand new uh, 14 ply that I uh, brought as well. This one is just a bummer. This is just all fails if I need to get home. This, this is not a good tire, but you know how it go, man. And if you don't, please try to understand. I am a small business. Put that new boy on so we good we got the 14 plies everywhere all around <laughs> i hate the way this looks because it's like stacked up like that but it's very secure but hey you can never be too safe in this in this man trucking period bro you're gonna run into a lot of trucking issues so well a lot of tire issues rather but anyway let's go get this baby cleaned up man like a little bit we gotta change the ny hut sticker i also gotta change the if the stickers that's how long we've been out that's how long we've been out, man. Jeez. Man. 
Look at her.